Hey guys, this is Zara, Big Wonder and Content Creator and right now I will be reviewing the ASUS VivoBook Pro 15 OLED. I would like to thank ASUS Philippines for partnering me on this video. Without further ado, let's get into it! Book Pro OLED 15. Para to sa mga aspiring content creators out there na naghahanap ng portable and ultralight laptop with its graphic capability. Vivo Book Pro 15 OLED is powered by up to the latest NVIDIA GeForce 3050 graphics. This NVIDIA Studio laptop is powered by GeForce RTX 30 series GPUs that brings your creative imaginations to life. Let's talk about the design of this laptop. As you can see, sobrang classy nung laptop natin. At pag titignan mo dito sa, sa likod is meron siyang logo ng Asus VivoBook. At kung gusto ko dito is meron siyang design dito na parang wow. So this Asus VivoBook has two neutral color options. The quiet blue and cool silver. Ito is quiet blue and as you can see, perfect na perfect talaga siya sa mga young content creators out there na naghahanap ng laptop that matches their requirements and performance, appearance, and budget. Now, let's talk about the ports. So, ayan, tingnan natin yung kung ano ba yung meron dito. Dito is meron tayong 3.5mm audio jack. So, dito is meron tayong USB 3.2 Gen 1. Dito naman is meron tayong full-size HDMI 1.4 that supports 4K video output. One USB 3.2 Type C. At isa pa na sa nagustuhan ko dito is meron siyang micro USB card. Kapag meron ka mga ito transfer na files, hindi mo na kinakailangan maglagay ng adapter kasi meron niya siyang micro USB card para to sa mga mahilig mag-dump ng files kapag after nyo mag-travel. So, automatically madadump mo agad yung files without using card reader. At on the other side, we have two USB 2.0. Ano nga ba yung specs ng laptop na to? This laptop only weighs 1.65 kilos with 18.9 mm thin ultrabook category. So, itong laptop na ito is consider pa siya as ultrabook category with its 7.12 mm side, 12.85 mm size, and 84% screen to body ratio. And pagka-open ko nitong laptop na to, makikita natin na classy talaga siya tingnan at perfect shop sa mga lifestyle. Tingnan naman natin yung itsura nito sa front. So, nandito yung power button niya. Tapos nandito yung numeric keys. At isa pa sa mga nagustuhan ko dito is ang ganda nitong enter. Mayroon siyang classy design. And then, iti-check ko lang tong trackpad. Itong trackpad natin is okay naman siya. Sobrang soft niya. Tamang-tama lang yung size niya. This is 15.6 so, yan, perfect siya sa mga mahilig mag-travel at dinadala yung laptop sa mga iba't ibang lugar. So, ito yung para sa sa'yo. Pagdating dito is makikita natin na meron siyang, ayan, pag nag-type ako dito, sobrang comfortable niya at meron siyang backlit keyboard. Kapag mga madilim na situation, pwedeng umilaw yung laptop natin. Parang siyang gaming laptop. So, pag nagta-type tayo dito is ergonomic yung keyboard natin at comfortable yung comfortable tayo. Isa pa sa nagustuhan ko dito is isang touch lang natin is mag on na yung power button. Now, let's talk about the graphics. Napakalaga ng graphics. As a content creator, you need to use powerful applications like Photoshop, Lightroom, and Adobe Premiere. So, kapag meron kang powerful graphics, mas magiging mabilis yung workflow mo. So, ano ba yung graphics nitong laptop? To maximize your full-time use, this VivoBook Pro 15 OLED has the processor is powered by AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX mobile processor with NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 graphics. It has 16GB of RAM, so mas madali yung magiging rendering natin when it comes in video editing at meron din siyang 1TB SSD. NVIDIA Studio Batch product contain NVIDIA's powerful RTX GPUs and are purpose-built and tested specifically for demanding creators. If you're gonna do heavy tests for content creation, you'll be needing a laptop with high performance through GPU accelerated. Editors can now export high-resolution videos up to 5 times faster when using popular H.264 or H.265 
or HVC. With this, you can now do smoother high-resolution video editing. With the help of the NVIDIA Studio drivers which are built specifically for creators and tested extensively against top creative apps and workflows, it accelerates Adobe Creative Cloud and you can now edit smoothly with GPU accelerated effects and enhance photos faster. With the NVIDIA Studio drivers, you can have access to NVIDIA Broadcast, NVIDIA Canvas App, and NVIDIA Omniverse. So later, we're gonna test its capability sa video editing rendering. Ang SSD natin is 512GB na kayang ma-upgrade up to 1TB. And featuring ultra-fast Wi-Fi 6. And what I like about this, it kahit na mataas yung graphics card natin, it has dual fan cooling system that will cool down our Ryzen 9 without having thermal issues. Let's talk about the display. It has 1920 by 1080 FHD resolution with 100% DCI P3 color gamut. Pero bakit nga ba siya tinawag na OLED? Ano ba yung OLED? Mahalaga ba siya? Ano bang pinagkaiba ng OLED? Bakit siya tinawag na OLED? At ano yung pinagkaiba niya sa mga normal laptop? So, etong OLED talaga is ma-experience mo na ibang-iba siya sa mga LCD display lang na laptop. For cinematic viewing, it has richer, accurate, and more vivid colors. So, yan, yun yung mahalagas when it comes in color grading, especially for Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Premiere. As a content creator, mahalaga na tama yung accuracy ng laptop natin. Especially if you're gonna color grade your photos and your video. It comes with OLED screen because it has true-to-life colors. It has Phantom Validate color with 100% DCI P3 for color gramu. Low blue light level TUV Rainland certified for better eye cares. It also has anti-flicker display. Dito sa OLED display is mabababa natin yung blue light na makaka-apekto sa eyes and especially mahaba yung oras natin. Kitang-kita natin dito yung vibrant colors. Isa pa sa mga sa OLED is meron siyang clearer image especially for lower brightness. Kapag nag-edit ako ng mga madidilim na scenario especially for photos, hindi natin masyadong nakikita yung blacks kasi masyado nang madilim. Pag OLED yung screen mo, it has true black for extreme details. And for darker scenes na rin, and kapag nanonood ka ng mga movies na dark yung mga scenarios, mga horrors, sa OLED display is makikita mo talaga yung mga blacks. Ma-appreciate mo talaga siya. At mas madadalian ka mag-color grading ng mga darker scenarios. Para mas maintindihan natin yung capability ng laptop na ito kung gaano siya ka-powerful for its price. Now, let's try to test it for photo editing. Right now, kinukulayan ko siya at kitang-kita natin yung vibrant ng image. So, yan. Um, try natin magkulay ng medyo darker, darker image. Ayan, dito yung blocks natin. Kitang-kita natin yung mga blocks. So, yan. As you can see, um... Mas madali mag-color kapag malinaw yung screen natin. And try naman natin manood ng mga movies. Check it the movie. And try natin manood ng movie. Ito, Child's Play. So, yan. Kitang-kita yung block ng display natin. Um, kapag mga ibang display siya, hindi natin mo siya makikita ito. Try natin manood ng movie. So, yun. Grabe yung pagka-block niya. Kitang-kita natin. So, yun yung mahalaga kapag OLED yung screen natin. So, kapag mga darker images, ma-appreciate mo talaga yung true colors. Now, let's try to test it for video editing. Tingnan natin kung nagpi-playback yung mga 4K drone shots ko dito. So, yan. As you can see, kung may na-clear yung image natin. So, yan. I'm sure try ko mag-render ng 4K videos and tingnan natin kung gano'n sila kabilis. So, maglalagay ako dito ng files so Adobe Premiere and I will render it all in 4K and sequence then digital SLR okay. yan um, i-drag ko itong mga 4K footage natin tinan natin kung mag-play siya dito sa playback so gagamit ko itong full so, as you can see, um, walang delay or buffer itong video natin sa playback. Ayan, meron siyang konting stutter lang. Siguro sa drone shot ko yun. 
Pero as you can see, clear na clear yung playback natin dito when it comes in 4K playback. Tapos naka-full pa tayo. Ayan, may konti lang siyang lag. Pero hindi naman siya masyadong... Ayan, ito try natin i-export itong video. Nag-drag ko lang siya sa timeline. Um, click existing settings. Tapos... Hindi pala nakapalit yung settings natin. So, ayan, bali. Itong video natin, this is around, sige, gawin natin 5 minutes lang. 5 minutes, tapos, lagyan natin siya ng konting color grading para medyo heavy yung rendering natin. So, gagawa na lang ako ng adjustment layer dito. Adjustment layer. Ngayon, pagkagawa ko dito ng adjustment layer, gagawa ko ng color. Siguro ito na ng basic lot para mabilis. Then, lagyan lang tayo ng konting graphics pero hindi ko nalalagyan ng text. Ngayon, new text layer lang. Then, lagyan lang natin siya dito para lang dumami. Ayan. Tapos, lagyan lang tayo ng konting music para mas mabigat yung files natin. Ganyan. Ito try natin i-export itong 5-minute video. Saktong 5 minutes tayo. Tapos, ito timer ko siya ngayon sa aking phone. Ayan. Ito timer natin kung ilang minutes ang export time natin sa 5-minute five five mark. And five minute mark, and then start. Um, going ko siyang MP4, H264, and then gagamitin ko is adaptive high bitrate. Tapos use maximum render, so na hot 1920 by 1080p tayo. Tapos i start ko na siya i export. Yeah, timer now starts now. Wow, ang bilis. And so, bali, ang bilis niya. So, parang 3 minutes, tapos na siya. So, isa pa sa nagustuhan ka dito, as a content creator, kailangan mo ng long battery life. Thankfully, ang VivoBook Pro 15 OLED ay merong 60 watt hours with high quality battery to keep you going for longer. Meron ka ring option dito sa my Asus natin kung gaano mo ba i-maximize ang battery natin. It also features a fast charging function that charges the battery from 0% to 60% in less than 39 minutes. Para ma-maintain natin yung battery life nito is meron siyang battery health charging. You have option for full capacity mode, balance mode, or for maximum lifestyle span mode. Another feature of this laptop is the Wi-Fi Smart Connect for the best Wi-Fi connection. Automatically, since smart nga siya, automatically madedetect niya kung ano ba yung may pinakamalakas na signal sa Wi-Fi natin. Another feature of this laptop is meron siyang screen mirroring na pwede ko matransfer yung files ko dito sa laptop by using link to my Asus app. Pang gusto ko pa dito is pwede mong makonect yung phone mo kahit anong device pa yan, iOS or Android pwede mo siyang makonect sa device na to at especially kunyari may tatawag sa'yo, pwede dito mo siya sa laptop masagot. At kung gusto mo rin instantly matransfer yung files mo, automatically matotransfer mo siya kung meron ka nung my Asus app. Pag may mga meeting ka, pwede mong magamit yung screen mirroring option. Maganda dito sa Asus VivoBook natin is meron ka ng free 3 months. Meron ka ng free 3 month Adobe Creative Cloud. So, makakatipid tayo ng around 18,000. So, you can purchase Asus PC and get a complimentary Adobe package. So, yun. Meron ka ng license. Adobe package for Adobe Photoshop, Illustration, InDesign, Premiere Pro, and other Creative Cloud membership. Yun. So, meron ko na yung 100 GB of cloud storage. Ito yung another benefit of these laptops. With purchase of an Asus NVIDIA Studio laptop, you can now avail 3 months of subscription for Adobe Creative Cloud for free. Now, let's talk about the other special features of this laptop. What I really like about this is it has fingerprint sensor na 
pag ikaw yung may-ari, pwede mong ma-register yung finger mo. So, isang tap mo lang is they can easily track you na ikaw yung owner without entering your password. Another feature of this laptop, it has webcam shield. So, yung worry ko talaga is lagi kong tinatakpan yung webcam ko. Meron siyang option na nakaklose yung webcam natin at pwede mo lang siyang i-on pag gagamitin mo na siya. Isa pa sa mga nagustuhan ko dito is ang ganda ng sound ng speaker natin. Meron siyang Harman Kardon speaker. So, iba siya sa mga ibang laptop. Ayan, we have already tested the capability of the Asus VivoBook Pro 15 OLED. At masasabi ko na I highly recommend this laptop for young content creators out there. Para sa mga magsisimula pa lang sa vlogging or sa mga aspiring content creators or even sa mga graphic design that are looking for a powerful yet affordable and ultra-light laptop that can handle their workload for light video editing, graphic design, and even to speed up your daily multitask. You can get this laptop for 62,995 pesos on any Asus concept store or you can use my link in the description down below. So, yun lang. This sums up my review of the Asus VivoBook Pro 15 OLED. And thank you for watching. See you on my next video. Bye!